So we're set for basketball on a Wednesday night here in Coral Gables. Again with Jack McClinton and Kyle Seeloff. The officials tonight, Brian O'Connell, Lamar Simpson, Jamel Spearman. We are underway. For sure. I mean, when you play for a coach like Rod Strickland, such legendary background, you want to come up and show out for your coach. Great unselfishness to start the game by the Miami Hurricanes. Tonight, he's got his two boys playing for him as well. There's the replay of that last basket for the Miami Hurricanes out to a four. They are under the watchful eye of Dad. Oh, look at Poplar just got pushed at the top of the key. Comes up holding his right knee a little bit, and he's limp coming back down the floor. Miami trying to force a turnover as LIU looks to get on the board for the first time tonight. And Miami does indeed force a turnover. Wooga Poplar from distance. And he Bad knee, come back for the three. Guys letting the ball go with confidence. This is a great game, you know, coming off, you know. Maybe he just got to twist it up a little bit there, top of the key. I want to see Nigel pull that great shot. There you go. He pulled it all right. They're just not enough. And also, with, you know, Coach Washington has a new basketball team. You expect that from a new team. They're still trying to understand each other. Great by Cleveland now. Dunk. By Cleveland. I think he plays his best basketball in transition. 12 0 Miami. And a look down low. That was blocked. And getting it back. Omir, top of the key. 4 3. And he buries it. He didn't do a lot of messing with the ball around his hands. He literally got the ball and let it fly. Well, there's another takeaway by Matthew Cleveland and another bucket. And Rod Strickland's going to call another timeout. You don't see too many bigs in the NBA right now that cannot shoot a mid-range for a three-point shot. And Norchad knows that. He went to the pre-draft last year, worked out, and I'm sure that's something that he heard. We want to see you improve your shot. And he's been in the gym. Matthew Cleveland with six early points. omir has got seven. Three. I go pack Barry to three. There's a turnover. And back comes Miami. They'll have numbers coming the other way. Up top for Norchad Omir. This is what you want to see from this University of Miami basketball team. There's another look at that alley-oop. Up top. <laughs> this is a guy for a long time. For as sure. an executive and as a player, knows what it's like to win basketball right games. Time. Finally, the Sharks are on the board as the body language has been down a lot this whole game. Great move. What a Pull move by back Bentley Bentley Joseph. Mm, mm, mm. The NBA's official minor league system, essentially, where he served as the director of the professional path program since 2018. Another bucket, back-to-back -back buckets for the Sharks. Number three on the way, and again, it's Ty Strickland. Because if I'm him, I shot two and I make two. I'm shooting three, four, and five. Nice move by Matthew Cleveland. Doing there. that this year for the Canes. He's an almost, not almost travel. Bensley Joseph almost walked, and Nwoko can't finish down low. Got beaten, banged up. Great ball movement. I'll tell you what, that's some terrific ball movement. But it shows you even better defense by the Canes. You don't suspect that maybe a part of Rod Strickland coaching this team in the program he's building is Bensley Joseph buries a three. Well, you know what? Let's go to my room. Let's throw on a little film of the old man here after almost two decades in the NBA for Rod Strickland. You know what they say? So 28 to 10, Miami leading. Under 10 left to play. Bensley Joseph, another three, buries it. I love to see Bensley shot improving. That's going to be huge for this University of Miami Hurricane team as the season continues. Miami very much playing under control tonight as the ball is swiped away. Nowoko came up with it. He handed it off to Christian Watson, and he finishes with a little finger roll at the rim. You don't want to see turnovers like that happen, but you get it right back, I'm sure they'll forget about it. Great split, great move by Chris Watson. Wow. Strong finish. I can see where Kyrie potentially gets some of his finishing ability for him. Oh, Miami up big, leading by 25. Give him 28. Keyshawn George, the freshman, with that full head of hair, buries a three. I thought it was interesting, Jack, and I mentioned this to you, and I'll, I'll bring it onto the air. Watching Rod Strickland during the timeout, right? Like, at this juncture, it's not going to do any good to scream and holler. Obviously, things aren't going well. 
Take me back to when you were young. When were you like, I'm going to make it a point of emphasis. I'm going to learn how to shoot the ball from way out there and do it really well. I mean, probably at six years old. You know, I yeah. was always the smallest guy, so I had to be able to shoot the ball. A young man out of Serbia, a freshman at seven feet tall. There goes Wuga, strong with the right hand, just floats in the air. Man. Great move, great pace. One thing you want to see from Wuga. Pack has got it. Step back three. On the way. It tickled the twine. I had nothing but the bottom of the net. Trying to get it to fall off the backboard was Eric Acker. He cannot. Here comes Miami quickly in transition. Poplar, a little soft coverage, and it's easy to the rack. And he had a little scare early in the first half there when right knee looked like it buckled a little bit on him. Here's the three. That one looks good, and it is. That thing is buried. 74 59, a couple of days ago. Great driving kick by Norchad. What a move. Well, you just one of the last nine from the field. And there's a bucket for Eric Acker. A little beating and banging here at the top of the key from Strickland. And now Wooga is going to back down to Acker. That's a mismatch and a fadeaway jump shot. That'll play at the next level. Yuck. 100%. LIU Sharks. Inbounds pass goes to Nigel Pack. Clock ticking down. A handoff to Cleveland. Dribble drive to the rack. The layup is good. Offensive rebounds, turnovers, 50-50 plays. You have to win all of those. Look down low. That's a beautiful pass and a finish. So away we go. Coming out of that timeout. I wonder what Coach L had to tell him there, Jack. Probably said, keep the energy up. There you because go. Because you're winning by a lot of points. Doesn't mean you come out flat-footed. This basket. What do you see here, Jack? Great patience. You know, you notice he stopped on two. Mm, that was an eyeball sandwich right there. Yes, it Great was. Great contest. Better shot. Those quick twitch muscles for Nigel Pack. An easy layup. Been up so much. Up nearly 40 in this game. Here's a three. Quick trigger. Oh. In and out. Nice. Poplar with a behind the back pass to Omir who works in the lane. In a fadeaway jump shot from the free throw line. I don't know if I've seen that one before from Omir. An elevate balance. A lot of times you see guys spin back and they're not balanced. Norchad went up super balanced and we got the result we wanted. Now we got five guys coming in. We talked about these bench points for the University of Miami. They got 15 minutes now to really show what they're made of. We got 13 minutes and 40 seconds to come out and really showcase why I potentially should be in the game a little bit more. And that's great from Ja'Kai Robinson. What do you want to see from these guys right now, Jack? What are you looking for? You want to see them to play unselfish Miami basketball. Because you don't want to come in playing hard defense, playing unselfish University of Miami basketball. And right now, or three or four. Just uh, make sure they get to the gym and say, go get them, fellas. That's great a touch out there. Great touch by the local. Again, it's 74-26. These are crucial minutes for guys that do not see the floor a whole lot. Huge minutes. It's a great finish by Strickland. Robinson takes the handoff from Keyshawn George, and he'll handle the point guard responsibilities, and that one's taken away. Robinson just never saw the man that he was looking for, and there's a foul. And the bucket is good. Oop. Going up. Up top for Omir. I saw that. Easy. But you, you notice the difference in the movement of the basketball. And you could be able to explain what this means, Jack. He always talks about playing defense, right? You got to play good defense. And defense turns into offense. Defense isn't the, the popular thing to do. Tiring, too. But defense keeps you on the floor. You get stops. You get the ball back. Now you got an opportunity to score. Bisley Joseph has kind of turned himself into an offensive threat. But in years past, he's been a defensive specialist and got being aggressive and playing together. Well, oh, Nigel Pack, a three, buries it. Uh, that was a one-on-one -on -one double cross, step back to the corner by Nigel Pack. What more can you say about this dude, man? He's been unbelievable for the Miami Hurricanes. Yeah, step back, three, get out of here. Yeah. When you see that, is that all instinctual or does he know what he's about to do? Is that is that a feeling out process there? I think with you know being in the gym, having so many reps, 
it becomes instinctual. You know, when you're doing drills, crossover, 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 they need to move the ball, get some movement, get Miami moving a little bit. Only one and done shots going on the LIU basketball program. A bad pass there and a turnover by Miami. And a shot on the other end. Good for Acker. I like nice Acker. touch. Freshman. 13.9 points a game as a freshman. Playing some really good teams. He's played UCLA, playing Miami, playing FIU. Had some really good teams. Great pass. Pepperdine, Columbia. You got the line behind you that's almost like a defender. So you want someone to be in that opposite corner for an outlet. Ah, nice move there. All right, now it looks like the starting five for Miami will be done for tonight. The five reserves that we saw just a few minutes ago are back in for the Miami Hurricanes. Ready to play basketball. It's amazing to think about, Jack. And obviously, you really won't see these five on the floor again throughout the course of the rest of the season unless down big or up really big. You know, they're 6'7", six, 6'6", six, six, you know, and the Wolko's obviously got some size to them. But if you were going to put the biggest... Five on the floor for Miami is George Berry's at three. This is though. them. It's very true, especially <laughs> at their position. To just go to Rucker Park in New York City and watch what happens there. The basketball, the young kids. Oh, the Woka. Whoa, uh, what is He's just swinging from there. He about brought that puppy down. To watch, you know, what, what they would just consider like their organized street ball type stuff. The fans that go out. Hey, the, is there a better sound? Uh oh, oh I thought uh, Christian Watson was about to throw that alley up to Is there a better sound? Instead of the nets, the chain, if you're oh, out man, on the playground. The you bury one from deep on the chains. Especially hard. <laughs> Michael Nwoko for three. It rolled right off the front of the iron. Hey, you're right, by the way. You want to be a good basketball player? Go find a playground. Double rim, no give, and a chain. That's the key. Nobody was in a gym. You had no idea where I was. But I had a ball and a basket. Work with no eyes. That's going to get you the prize. And that's going to bring us to the end of tonight's festivities, Jack McClendon. Um, this is amazing. Your final thoughts, though, here tonight. I love the way Miami came out from their last win, played together.